We're so excited about the Masters of Science in Global Security Conflict and Cybercrime. We talked to experts in the field and other academics, and we did a survey of the different graduate programs that exist in the cyber realm. And what we quickly discovered was that there were a lot of technical programs, but not the policy practice and the analytics of looking at cyber. Taking that kind of rounded approach rather than just focusing on technology is what we're really trying to address. The challenges are really around business models and policy and diplomacy and is really going to be solved more in the policy side of things and the diplomatic side of things than it will be on the technical side of things. When we talk about people who might be interested in taking this new degree, we're looking at essentially three broad audiences. One would be someone who already has a tech grounding, who now wants to look at the policy relevance of what that actually means. What do these ones and zeros actually look like if we take them into a, a more social science domain? Conversely, we also might be looking at people who have a social science background, but really want to focus in on how do those ideas, things like deterrence, things like coercion, how do they actually apply to a cyber security perspective? And then thirdly, people who have a broad policy orientation already, who want to be writing policy that actually makes sense from a cyber uh, perspective. They want to really make sure that they're up to speed with what's actually happening in this domain. The new masters in uh, global security conflict and cybercrime will be able to really feed off of the already deep international ties that we have through our global affairs program. Almost every major cybercrime investigation is transnational uh, by nature. It's also very cross-sector. Anyone who has data uh, is a target. It's what makes it so difficult to combat, but it also means there's a lot of opportunity uh, in the space to, to learn about it and to apply it wherever your career happens to take you. Governments are not up to speed on having policies in place that govern the cyber domain. So it was really with all of this information that we went about designing and developing this new master's program that could, you know, look at global security on the broader scale, conflict and how conflict is changing and the nature of conflict is changing, and cybercrime, which cuts across so many different dimensions of our society and our lives today, and to sort of think about a curriculum that addresses both the contemporary, real, hard realities that we confront today, but can also be ahead of the curve in terms of what lies ahead in the future.